Hi there. One thing a lot of people love in cinematography is anamorphic lenses. Now, anamorphic lenses have an effect where lens flare is like it's like protruding horizontally in like a line. If you watch any films by J.J. Abrams, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's a, a sort of technique that everyone wants to have in their work. But the anamorphic lenses are very expensive. Now, there's a DIY ways of creating that lens flare effect in camera, and I'm gonna show you one of them today. So creating the effect is very easy, and you can do it with stuff lying around your house, and when I tried it myself, I was surprised at how good it looked. So different ways you can do it, but the, the, the rule of thumb is to have a piece of line, like fishing line or something like that, very thin, going straight from the middle of the lens down to the bottom. And it has to be very straight and sharp and you don't want it too thick, it's just something nice and thin. So Christmas is over and I didn't have any fishing line lying around. So what I tried it was with a piece of, when you have your baubles on the Christmas tree, you have the bit of a uh, string that goes that attaches it to the tree so I used a bit of that and it does work so this is it here uh, it's gold it doesn't it doesn't have any effect on the color or anything so to make it work all you need to do is have it straight down the middle like that and then just find some way of attaching it to the to the lens uh, so if you want it really basic and quick you can use a bit of tape like that you know you can just rip a bit off attach it onto the, the lens and what I do is just get a big piece of it come around so it's easier I can see what the hell I'm doing so about there, so it's not in the way. Get another piece, just pull on it a little bit, just so it's nice and tight. And that's it. I know it looks really basic, but it does do the effect that you want. Another way of attaching it is with a elastic band or one of those sort of scrunchy things ladies use to put the hair back into a ponytail they work great as well so same thing so I'll just take that off so attaching it I find if you do it like that sort of shape and then just And it should look something like that. So once you've got it on properly, it does take a while and it's a lot of fiddling, but this is what it should look like. And I'm gonna show you some, uh, just some test shots I did, just to show how well it works. Uh, like I said, it's a very quick and dirty test. There's no, it's, it's no, you know, if you're out in the winds, there's chances will blow off. So there's different ways of doing it. If you use some good gaffer tape, that'll hold it on. You don't, you can use different bits of like sort of string like this. Um, I use this because it was lying around the house, but fishing line is really good. It works really well for this effect. So really you're just playing around and see what you can get with it. But this, this worked for me and I'll show you what I got with it.